So I'm down at my guy's place, his shop, and he's the guy that sharpens my reels. He sharpened my reels for me. Actually, these are brand new reels. He um, adjusted the bed knife for me, ground the knife, and made sure that it was good. That's it, we got them loaded up and I'm ready to go. Every time I get these done, they are always fantastic. He is so good and I appreciate him so much. So let's go put them on the machine. So I'm back at the house and let's take a look at the reels. I didn't really have the chance to inspect those suckers while I was down there because I just needed to get the heck out of there and he saw me with my camera. So you know how that goes. I don't hear any reel to bed knife contact so that isn't good. Let's see if I can get these on here. These things are very, very heavy. These are man killers, folks. Oh my gosh. These are so flipping heavy. Oh my gosh. Let's get them into so the garage and then so, so, I gotta so go heavy. out of town for a couple days or a day or so. Get these put onto my machine tomorrow or the next day. Whoa! No! 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 You see that? My reel fell on the floor. No. no. So let's take a look and see what he did here. Ooh, got good cut there. Ooh, that's gonna need to be adjusted a little bit there. These things can move in transit or drop them. And I dropped that sucker, so. The lawn has not been mowed in about six or eight days or something because I had my mower in for sharpening. And I've got some pretty bad issues going on. Now that it's kind of long, you can see really kind of what's going on with all these patches and stuff like this. So see that right there. Uh, the, these are the reasons why I killed the lawn. I see a big patch of poa over here. And so we're going to mow the lawn and edge it and plant a bunch of flowers today. So come along for the ride. I think you'll like it. So the annuals are planted a little bit too close to the edge and she planted them. And so I said, hey, these are planted a little bit too close. And she says, Okay, just kill them then, they'll grow back. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay, so just whip or snipper them up, huh? She's like, yep. <laughs> no, they're not gonna do that. They're gonna bush out and get big. So I'm looking at my raspberries over here and it looks like they need some water and looks like the pre-emergent I put down is working great. There's not very much grass coming up inside the berries uh, where, the, where the canes are. So I did spray the rest of the garden with uh, some weed killer. And yeah, working out great.
SpaceX launch going on my phone right here. T minus 14 seconds. I need to adjust this bed knife to this reel. I'm just going to check out this uh, launch first. Oh yeah! It's incredible. Falcon 9 carrying Dragon, Dragon with two man, men in there, or, or a manned spacecraft. Pretty freaking awesome. Bob and Doug pulling about 2.3 Gs, 2.3 times the Earth's gravity, already moving at over 1,500 miles per hour. So everything looks good on the spacecraft, which is awesome. I'm gonna, I need to get this thing adjusted. Just got these back from my guy. They do, a, they do move a little bit in transit, and it's cutting good over here, but it's not cutting over here. So I've gotta figure out why. Okay. You got a looky-loo here. Who is it? She said we almost had a looky-loo here. So I did ask him to put some grease in these, uh, in these before he put them on his grinder. Said he did. So I finally got the reels on that sucker and adjusted. Holy crap, that was a ton of work. Adjusting them just right it took me probably an hour, if not a little bit more. My wife has been out here planting. These are the dahlias. She's also been planting lots of uh, annuals. We got our baskets up. And then look at this over here. So you can see this right here. This is Poa Anya. You see the seed head. It's pretty much a dead giveaway. So let's go over here and I'll show you the most nasty section of my whole lawn. And I'm not proud of it, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like no sense in hiding it i haven't mowed this little um section right here at all so this is bluegrass seed heads right here all right so here are the bluegrass seed heads right here and then here is the poa anya seed head so see the difference there so these seed heads generally are not as bunched up so this is the poa anya and their seed heads are generally spaced further apart than say this if you can see that versus that that's the poa a and this is the poa p the bluegrass so you can also tell by the color difference you can see this this is like a more of a lime green or a lighter color green than the rest of the grass it's kind of just in this bunchy little area kind of sucks because all these seeds right here you can see all these seeds these are gonna I'm going to cut them off and then they'll germinate next spring or in the fall when the conditions are right. But so let's get this sucker going and let's mow a little bit. All right, so it should be all adjusted right. It's freshly sharpened, new reels, so we should get a pretty good cut. The cut is never as good on the riding mower as it is behind the walk, the walk behind. I'm telling you the walk behind is, has a far superior cut. So let's go for it. creeper over there see the creeper i don't know what he wants don't know who it is but they're creeping it's like yeah I'll just pull over right here put my blinker on bikers 
creeper, man. Creepy people. Let's see if we can catch him on camera doing something crazy. He's still there. Oh, he turned around. He was watching me. He turned around, he took off. just one cut I did kind of burn over it a couple times it does look awesome you can still see all the imperfections and the poa and but man the cut just it uh, makes the lawn just look so much better when it's freshly cut I finished mowing this section here I'd say it looks pretty good you can see the stripes here I was able to get them fairly straight happy with the mow there the only thing I don't like is I don't like uh, not being able to collect the clippings. That's one thing that drives me absolutely batty. You can see all the clippings here. If you go over it enough, and there's some more clippings there. If you go over it as a lot, it will just mulch them in. Obviously, I waited too long to mow this. That's why you can see a lot of the clippings. If you uh, mow it at regular intervals every couple of days, it you won't see the clippings as much. You can also see the stripes that are this direction. I have not mowed in this direction today. That I did about six, to, six days ago or something like that. And the, the stripes are still there, which is pretty cool. I do love this machine. It makes light and easy work of the lawn and it leaves these nice fat wide stripes, which are awesome, which is awesome. to look really good see that it's just amazing I love this mower it's freaking awesome all right so back here I did a double cut this direction and then I did um, on a diagonal which I don't normally do but I don't know decided to go for it so you can see I cut it in this direction as well the lawn needs fertilizer and I should probably put some of that down tonight. Over there, I've got a tank, a little uh, pull behind of your lawn tractor tank that I'm gonna use to fertilize my baskets. Look at all the grass clippings on the concrete, which really sucks. That's why I do not like to do mulching. This is why I prefer to bag. You don't get grass clippings everywhere. Look at the color difference that you see from here to there. That's Everest Kentucky bluegrass, dark green. And this is a four-way blend of Kentucky bluegrass and then some perennial rye as well. Look, look at that. We got, we got someone over there with a string trimmer, a whippersnipper, a lady. Pretty sweet, huh? So this area right here, this needs to get planted. Um, I never did get around to planting that. I think this section, I think I did do... Actually, no, I didn't. I thought I was going to... I was gonna say I did a double cut here, but I didn't. You can see the stripes here. It really looks awesome. Let's take a look at that poa now that it's cut down. Here's that poa here. Seed head still. It looks a lot better, it's cut down. See how it's kind of lime green. Still looks bad. But... I may bring the mower around here and do a double cut. You see these stripes in this direction. Those stripes are there. Oh, it's raining. See that? Rain over there. It's 
pretty dang cool. We are getting crap done. We planted, or she planted, all of these annuals and dahlias. It's coming together. It's looking better. Planted these three bushes here. Those are burning bushes. We've got the hanging baskets. Shout out to Olson's greenhouse. Got all these annuals here. And then I got a bunch of annuals also from a place in Logan called Garden Gateway. It's a local nursery and it is freaking awesome. I love that place. Impatience here. This is a shade area on the north side. It's a deadhead, this dahlia here. See that? Oh my gosh, my porch is falling apart right there. My so annoying. It's coming together. Give it another couple weeks and this place will be awesome. This is going to be an eyesore for quite a while, likely. Unfortunately. And that over there likely will be an eyesore for quite a while as well. So that was an awesome mow job and I am so stoked for that. I love that mower. I'm so happy that I have it. It makes quick work of mowing the lawn. I did spend a lot of time trying to get that ready and get it calibrated just right with the height of cut or the, the um, reel to bed knife. So I still need to come over here and fix this sprinkler. Need to fix a sprinkler that's over there, a head there. I've already fixed that one. And then I've got heads over here. One, two, three. And there should be a head buried over there. So once I get that done, I can clean up all the trench in that trash. And then I can plant grass here. Whoa, 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 whoa. She planted both of those right there. I, I, I kind of had different plans for that, but she planted both of those, which I am okay with. She does all the planting and I do the, all the maintaining, which is the way I want to do it, actually. I don't enjoy the planting, but I do enjoy maintaining all this stuff. The irises are about to pop and uh, flower out. My perennials are starting to go. My ground cover is looking good. Creeping Jenny, ice plant, uh, Oh, I forget what that uh, purple stuff is called. Got my yarrow here. Oh man, she did awesome. These are gonna be awesome. She put dahlias all over there. Oh man, I hope those grow. Hope those get enough sunlight. So check out how sweet it turned out. Turned out freaking awesome. Love the wide stripes. Cool. I don't normally mow on an angle like that, but it turned out good. Really happy with it. Not really happy with the renovation. That didn't turn out so good. But I could kill it again and uh, do it right. I didn't do it right the first time or the second time, sorry. Didn't right do it right the first or second time. I just want that pretty glass back. What? It was amazing. Why? The day he killed it was honestly the prettiest day it ever was. No! I don't want to be on camera because I look awful. No. I've been planting since 8 o'clock this morning. And it's what were six. you planting? Tina, everything. I have planted everything. Okay, folks. So we planted a bunch of crap today.